Every year people are killed on zero turn mowers, usually in rollover accidents. So unless you live on the flat plains of Kansas, you need a roll bar. This particular model does not come with a roll bar, nor can I find one for it, so I fabricated one myself. Let me show you what I made and how I made it. First of all, this is just the bottom of the line Hustler Raptor. And again, does not come with rollover protection. Uh, that's called ropes, R-O-P-S. And um, I couldn't find one online. I called the dealer. As far as I know, there's not one for this model and for several models probably. So I decided it was time to make one myself. So first thing I did was just mock it up with some wood these are two befores that I just clamped to the side of it just to see how it would look. Just some scrap wood I had laying around. At the time, I thought I was going to use 2 inch by 4 inch uh, square tubing, but I decided I was going to use 2 by 2 tubing. It's lighter, uh, much cheaper, and I just thought it would be better. So here I am mocking it up again with the clamps with 2 by 2, wooden 2 by 2. So I cut the height of the upright. Uh, to the height that I thought I wanted, but uh, wasn't real sure exactly, but I cut long just to make sure. And here I am drilling the holes. Um, I'll show you in a minute. You have to kind of be careful of, uh, of where you do it, drill your holes. So I drill two holes in it. They go all the way through. Not just on the top here, but all the way through the bottom side also. It's a little tough. I believe this is eighth inch square tubing. Didn't know exactly where I wanted it. So here again, I'm mocking it up. This is all metal, but I'm mocking it up with some clamps. And I thought that just was not tall enough. So I decided to raise it up a little bit, figuring out where it is above my head. Now I'm set. That's where I want it. So I come back, clamp it hard on the engine guard. I want it to be square with the engine guard, so I use a level. And again, clamp down solid so it doesn't move. I mark my holes with a pencil and start drilling. That engine guard uh, material is pretty tough, takes a little while, but you get it drilled. Now it's time to cut the upright. Place it on top. It's a little long, but that way I can mark where I want to put it, mark where I, the cuts I want to make on it from here. I like it. And I decided to cut it like this, uh, just for aesthetics, and I believe it's stronger also. So I just made some 45 uh, degree cuts on the top, pulled it together with that ratchet strap, took several cuts, uh, because I'm not, a, not great with a cutoff wheel on a grinder, so it took several, uh, several attempts to make it to where it was uh, coming up to the uprights flush enough where I could weld it. But I think that looks pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Again, pulled up tight with a ratchet strap. I didn't get any welding pictures and I'm not a great welder, but here's what I did to fill in that hole right there on the uprights. I just cut some arrowhead shaped pieces of metal that I had and welded those in there. It gives it strength and it's much more aesthetic. I won't have any wasp building nests down in those, uh, those uprights. And uh, so I think it looks pretty good. My welding is not great. Here's where it bolts in. I painted it black, bolted it in, and I'll show you one thing you have to take into account when you're drilling your holes. And that is that little support right there on the inside 
of that engine guard. I drill above it and below it. Make sure that your holes are not going to hit it because I'm not sure you could drill through it without damaging it. Again, I think it's pretty attractive, notwithstanding my welding. And I believe it would be pretty doggone functional too. Now, if I were to roll over, is there a possibility that it would bend that engine guard? Yeah, but I won't be dead. Is there a possibility that since the muffler is right there behind the engine guard, it might even bend the muffler? Yep, but I won't be dead. So you get the point. I'm trying to stay alive. And since there are so many accidents that people are having on zero turns, uh, you need to try to stay alive too. Yes, I have taken the covers off the spindles because they just clog up and they can burn your belts up. That's another tip. So I'm not saying do it because you got to be careful of them. It's really not safe to do it, but I did it. That little bracket in the middle of the engine guard, make sure your holes are above and below that. Take that into consideration. The sides of that engine guard are apparently 45 degrees, so when you when you mount on that 45 degree surface, you get a perfectly 90 degree angle. So when you cut the, the cutouts on the top bar, they are 45 degree cuts. And I think the roll bar makes it look prettier, but mainly functional. Now, anytime you have a roll bar, you have to have a seat belt. I bought this seat belt, about two of them, they come in two pack on Amazon. Now, if you're very heavy around the middle, uh, you might need to try these out because they are, it's very, very tight on me. Uh, so that's something you'll need if you're 38, 40, 42, whatever around the waist, you just need to try it. You may have to send it back and, and get a, a longer one, but I will put a link to the seat belt below, uh, that I bought on Amazon. The old rule is if you don't have a rollover bar, you do not want a seat belt because you want to be able to jump. If you do have rollover protection, then you do want a seat belt. So that's why I've got a seat belt on it, and I would suggest that you do too. I think it will offer me the protection I need when I'm mowing my culvert out front or anywhere else where there's a, a hill or a terrace that I'm a little concerned about. If you don't have the equipment, if you're not a welder or don't think you can do this, I believe you could take your mower to a welding shop, show them a little bit of this video, what you want, and uh, I believe they could make you one if you don't have the skills or the equipment to make this on your own. I think it could be made easily and uh, cheaply at your local welding shop. It'll be worth it if you can save your life. All right, that's it. We're gone.